Well, the process for oiling and greasing um, euphonium and tuba is the exact same as the process um, with trumpet. Um, one difference is in this valve design. Uh, when you remove the valve of a euphonium or a tuba, you're going to notice that there is no, you'll notice there's no integrated, um, no integrated spring within this. The spring instead is located within the valve itself as a free, um, a free open spring. We want to make sure that that spring remains in the casing. And again, when we wash the instrument, uh, we want to make sure that's replaced. To be able to oil that valve, we do the same thing that we did with the trumpet. We're going to take um, just regular valve oil. We don't need rotor oil like on the horn. Um, and put a couple of drops right down along the um, valve ports or slide ports and insert it back into the instrument, um, keeping it totally straight. If it binds at all, we want to make sure that we adjust that. There's going to be a notch that holds that slide or the valve in place. We want to make sure we find that. Once we do, tighten that down all the way and then flutter the valve until um, it moves freely. If we need to take it back out and re-oil it, uh, we can do that with the larger brass instruments. Um, it's not uncommon to need to oil it once or twice in order to make sure that that valve is completely lubricated.